Hey everybody, this is TJR. As I'm recording this, it is Tuesday night about 11 o'clock and earlier today I was reading an article from Forbes explaining uh, and talking about how the Apple Music Awards are going to be tomorrow on Wednesday and I'm like, tomorrow, Wednesday? When were these announced? And the reason I didn't know about them prior is because they were announced today. That's right. They were announced today, December 3rd. The ceremony, awards show, presentation, whatever you want to call it, will be tomorrow on Wednesday, December 4th. Talk about a short news cycle. Anyways, I'm going to read a little bit from this Forbes article because I think it's, it's pretty well written. I'm going to just kind of give some commentary here. Um, Apple has just announced a new award, actually five of them, and a new piece of award hardware to go with it. The first piece of solid metal and glass that the company has managed to keep completely, utterly secret for years. The Apple Music Awards are being presented this year for the first time, a sign that Apple is recognizing in a new way that music is an essential part of the company's identity. Of course, it always has been. From the first version of GarageBand, to the iPod, to the highly successful iTunes concerts it held in London for years. And yeah, definitely, of course, uh, the iTunes Music Store was revolutionary. Um, GarageBand is a software uh, that both uh, professionals have praised and that beginners can actually create music with. And I personally am a fan of the original GarageBand program that they don't have anymore, but I still have. And I think that original program is just so intuitive it was the first music software that I ever used. And I would even like show it to people who didn't know anything about music and say, look, here's how you can do things. And they got it. It was a great piece of software, in my opinion. And of course, the iTunes Music Festival, I thought was a great thing. I'm sorry it had ever ended. Um, I used to cover them here on the channel. Maybe someday that will come back. But let me get back to the article here. Now there is a select series of awards to be bestowed Artist of the Year, Songwriter of the Year, and Breakthrough Artist of the Year. All three are editorial choices made by Apple's in-house music creators. The final two are awarded on the basis of how many streams they've achieved on Apple Music. So there's Top Song of the Year and Top Album of the Year. With the announcement of the awards came the names of the winners and the fact that there will be a special event at the Steve Jobs Theater on Wednesday, December 4th. Now, initially, I was thinking like standard award ceremonies, you've got your top categories, then you've got a whole bunch of other categories. But no, it looks like from everything I've read as I've researched this and looking at Apple's own press release on this, it's just those award categories. That's all. So it's a very short awards ceremony from what I'm gathering. Oliver Schusser, Apple's vice president of Apple Music and International Content, said the Apple Music Awards are designed to recognize the passion, energy and creativity of the world's favorite artists. The musically diverse group of inaugural winners have sparked deep social conversation, influenced culture, and inspired our customers around the world. We couldn't be more excited to celebrate them. I don't really like the idea of announcing the names of the winners before you have the awards ceremony. To me, it just kind of kills it. I think you build up a lot more suspense and anticipation if you list your nominees and then announce your winners. Also, when you announce your winners ahead of time, it reminds me too much of the MTV Video Awards. Now, I enjoyed the MTV Video Awards for many years because they had lots of dumb, goofy categories like best on-screen fight scene, uh, best kiss on screen, you know, things like that. And of course, it wasn't taking itself seriously. Seriously, it wasn't the Oscars, you know. Not that I have anything against the Oscars, but we've already got them. So they went goofy with it. And I thought that was cool. But at the end of the day, with the MTV Video Awards, the reason for announcing the names of the winners before you do the ceremony was so that the celebrities that were part of it would want to show up and take part. That was the whole point of it. And so to me, it takes away anticipation, but it also kind of cheapens it. Uh, because I, I assume that Apple is not going goofy with this. They want to take this seriously. They took the iTunes Music Festival seriously. And it was a great music festival. I enjoyed it every year. But now let's read who the winners are. And the winners of the Apple Music Awards are Global Artist of the Year, Billie Eilish. Songwriter of the Year, Billie Eilish O'Connell. Breakthrough Artist of the Year, Lizzo. Album of the Year, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Billie Eilish. Aside from Lizzo, all of these awards are going to Billie Eilish. Now, 
Uh, I'll be honest, uh, Robert and I talked about her song, Bad Boy, uh, when we did our video, uh, Old Dudes React to New Music. And she was the only one whose song we liked out of the newer people that we listened to. Um, and I listened to her album. I haven't listened to it thoroughly yet, but I have given it a few cursory listens. It's interesting. I think there's definitely something there with her. She's definitely talented. Uh, but this year, to give all of them but one to one artist, it kind of, I just don't think it looks good. It's like, um, I mean, maybe she deserves it, you know, but I mean, weren't there other people who are really good? Uh, it feels like it's the Billie Eilish Awards this year. And I'm not blaming her. It's not her fault, but this is just what Apple chose to do. Once again, nothing wrong with Billie Eilish, but I'm sure there were other deserving artists. I know the last two were based on amount of streams, and she certainly did uh, rack up the streams this year. She definitely exploded. But still, I have to think that there were other artists that uh, could also have been included. After that, the uh, article in Forbes then actually talks about the actual physical award itself, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to get back to the article here. But just as interesting as the recipients is the hunk of metal they'll be given to commemorate it. The Apple Music Award is a handsomely designed object from the same Apple team that designs the iPhones, iPads, and everything else. And yes, since you asked, the company's departing design head, John Ivey, hopefully I've said that right, was involved in the creation of it. The award is roughly 20 inches tall by 16 inches by three quarters of an inch. So it's a sizable and solid piece. It's meant to be wall mounted all fixings supplied by Apple, but an acrylic stand is another option. The award looks like an ultra-modern speaker, perhaps, or a science fiction-style TV with a circular screen. It's attractive and eye-catching, uh, coming in different colors, achieved by depositing copper layers on the wafer, for instance. So, yeah, I kind of agree. It looks like, uh, like the grill for a, uh, a speaker, in my opinion. I think it looks very cool. But, I, it's, but it's interesting that in this day and age, that we're paying more attention to the look of the award than, you know, maybe who's the award is for. We'll see how this plays out. Um, does all of this just seem kind of WTF, you know? I mean, if Apple was going to take the time to do some music awards, why not announce it and then say the awards are three, four, maybe six months out? You know, build some anticipation for it, do some some more press for it, uh, tell us who your initial nominees are and, you know, and then build up to that. I don't know. I mean, I know that's the standard award ceremony thing. Maybe I'm just too old school. Maybe this is a different time. It needs to be done differently, but it's tomorrow. So I'm, I'm not even going to get a chance to see it. Of course, I'll be able to catch it on my Apple TV. I'm sure if I really want to, apparently Billie Eilish is performing. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's obviously going to be a very short award, and who knows? Maybe Apple realizes that people don't want to sit through long award ceremonies. Maybe this is a way to test the waters and then maybe expand on it, have other categories as the years go by. Like I said, I really miss the iTunes Music Festival, and maybe this annual award show will eventually, as time goes on, allow for them to showcase more live music performances, which will be a good thing in my opinion. But still, I'm perplexed by this. Just announce it one day and have it the next day. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. Um, did you even know about it? That's just the thing. How many people are going to know about it with just one day's notice? Let me know what you think. Um, anyways, I just thought this was just such a kind of like, like from left field kind of thing in music. But who knows what might come of this? This is TJR, everybody. If you like what I do, please click like, click subscribe, and click that notifications icon so you can know when I release new videos. And please consider becoming a patron supporter and helping me make more videos. Everybody, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.